Hello, this is Seth Welling and welcome to another AFI 100 Greatest American Film Review List Review. Today we're going to do Raiders of the Lost Ark. It occupies the 60th position on the 1998 list and the 66th position on the 2007 list. Came out in 1981. Rain of the Lost Ark is by far one of my favorite films. As some people call it a superficial because the characters aren't so deep and the action is just superficial, but they don't really understand what this film is. This film is probably the greatest B film ever made. B films were films that came out in the 50s. Usually they preceded the main attraction. So you would go in the afternoon to the local cinema because you might not have had a TV and you would watch films about treasure hunters and people who pursue Nazis and people who pursue aliens and it was pretty late stuff, and it was also serialized. They had the famous cliffhanger ending. I think they probably pioneered the cliffhanger ending that all the TV series used today. That's a whole over from B films. They were just like, they weren't meant to be a political statement because in the 50s, it was everyone just trying to be nice. There was no rocking the boat that came in the 60s as a reaction to the 50s. And pretty much everyone wanted to live an idyllic life, live it down. It's because of the Nazis. And during World War II, America fought the Nazis with the Allied powers, England, France, Soviet Union and we eradicated Nazism from Europe. We freed Jewish people and other people from concentration camps and it's one of the single most defining events of modern American history. We became the protectors of the entire world against fascism and anyone who would stand in freedom's way. So this is not to be political, but this is the mindset that carried over into the fifties where that part, that horrible part of history is over for us. So now we get to live the idyllic life. But but we life is an ideally. So we had to create movies about Nazis to give ourselves a fake villain to find in movies and because we already eradicated them in the forties, so that was the whole mindset surrounding the B films and why Nazis were always the enemy because Nazis covered a wide swath. Some of them were into the occult. Like if we watch History Channel now or whatever channel has it, they have Hitler and the occult. And you can do a, a dozen different stories about Nazis, and they would all be kind of true and different. So this one has to do with Hitler's love of the occult, kind of, or the possession of historical artifacts, which the movie would also have their own And Hitler wants the Ark of the Covenant. So, you know, he uses all his men to go after the Ark of the Covenant because he wants everlasting life, according to the movie. And maybe in real life too, we don't know. There's a lot of stories floating around out there. 
So Indiana Jones is a treasure hunter, but he's a good one. He's not a charlatan. He's getting these artifacts to take back to his college museum. He's a college professor of history. I get out the old history and he's protecting history, so he's one of the good guys. Today we might see that as way, but back then he was in fact saving treasures from those who would profit on them. Some of them are highest better. That's when his job is and he there's a lot of Nazi bashing, you know, Nazis are crazy, I hate those guys, they're stupid. And this is the prevailing uh, attitude in America. Hand horns Nazis since we beat them in World War II. And Steven Spielberg is a Jewish kid growing up in the 50s and, and obviously he hates. Nazis because they represent everything that's anti-Jew, anti-American, and so all he wants to do when he grows up is kill Nazis. One of his first films that he made when he was 12 was about being a fighter pilot hunting down Nazis. So this is very old, deep idea he has that he got to make into a blockbuster movie series. So there's a lot of Spielbergisms in Raiders. There's a, in one of his first big film when he was 19 was called Duel in which Dennis Hopper was racing for his life against a Peterbilt truck. 1950 theme he built truck. Spielberg, when he was picking out the, the truck, he looked for a truck with a face, you know, and that you would look, your know, eyes and nose, and just an impassionate, unstoppable force with a face on it. So in this film, when he went to let me drunk, he also went back to the face. And he filmed these amazing action sequences. Some, probably some of the best, cleanest action sequences are his. You know, no one dies. You don't see a ton of blood pouring out of someone. And there's no use to that. So he has inspired some action sequence in the Indiana Jones franchise. People who are critical of it, again, saying that it's superficial. And it is. The characters are not well defined as, and you only get a superficial look into who they are. But this movie, again, is about bashing Nazis. It does when it's the most little. It's a 13 year old dream of just treasure hunting and killing the bad guy, well, beating the bad guy at its own game and, and saving it in an old world. So that's the level of where we're at. And Spielberg went back, of course, and did Schindler's Lesson in 1993, and he wanted to go what the Jewish people went through in Europe during the age of Nazism. And I really don't like to see that film because that film is real. It's very real to me. It chronicles the slow extermination of a group of people. And um, among them, about 250,000 people who have disabilities, like me, obviously, uh, were also exterminated. So I have a hand in, in you know, it's too the, the interest of not having Nazis walk among us because it's bad for the world, it's bad for America. I don't like Schindler's List because it's, it's a real 
unblemished, almost unblemished picture of what happened in this man Oscar and uh, who's even a lot of Jewish people. Of course, it ends up great, but it's just so hard to watch. This is easier to watch because you know these people are bad and these people are like getting what they deserve. That's what the whole movie is about. It's kind of gruesome in the end. I'm trying not to go small it on you if you haven't seen it. But there, there, it's fake movie violence, it's not real violence. And there, there's a couple of gruesome parts in the end if you want to steer little kids away from it. They should be about 12 when they see it, maybe. Um, I don't know. Your parents, you can gauge what's best for your kids. So it's a fun film, it's not adventure. There's no language, there is no sex nudity and it just it's a good film for families who have older kids it's a good family film yeah, as i said before it's one of my favorites the only indiana jones film that i did not really like was the one that came out in 85 temple of doom the second one in the series and just, it was too dark, too dark, too kind of cultish in a way. But this one is good, it's a good romp. You'll enjoy it. Treasure hunting and adventure. And if you like these videos, click like, subscribe, and go visit my links in the dialogue box below to see the gear I use on my channel. Have a good day.